Hey guys, I'm making this video to share a story of myself. A story about my life experience in using Linux based OS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it, guys. So I'm a geek by nature. I can sit all day long in front of my computer just to figure things out. It can be anything as long as it interests me at that moment. I was so geeky that I have flashed all the phones that I have had, even my Nokia 55. 30 back in the days. That's right guys, flashing that crappy Symbian based phone, like who even do that shit, right? So the geeky side of me got me so bored with my Windows desktop. It was Windows 7 if I remember correctly. And of course I Google around to find some tutorials on how to customize Windows 7 and I found a lot of programs to do that. I tried them all and I was still unsatisfied because most of those applications are just adding some nice looking unneeded widgets into my desktop so I dug more on Google and along the time I was googling around I read a lot of people talking about Linux desktop environments my curiosity and desperation then got me into finding more about Linux so short story short I ended up trying out Linux the first Linux distribution that I used was Ubuntu it was somewhere around the end of 2011 and the beginning of 2012. The Ubuntu version at that time was 11.10. I loved it so much, I did a lot on it. To a stage where my Ubuntu desktop would look different every day. I was like a happy kid that found a new toy. As time goes by, I got a notification to upgrade my Ubuntu. It told me that a new Ubuntu version 12.04 LTS has came out. Because I needed to reinstall anyway, I took that moment to try out Linux Mint, mostly because of the positive review that I read about it. So I downloaded and installed the Linux Mint XFCE edition. I used Linux Mint version 13 Maya and 14 Nadia before I got bored with it. I hate the fact that I have to Google just to find the PPA address of the program that I want to install. I learned that I am more like a rolling release guy rather than a point release guy. So I did my research like I always do and decided to try out LMDE. It is a Linux Mint that is based on Debian instead of Ubuntu. I browsed into the download page and I found out that the ISO file was so outdated. So I went to the Linux Mint forum and asked about when will I get the updated version because back in the days my internet connection was really slow and I don't want to download a huge ISO file, install it and download another huge update. A member in the LMD team told me that the ISO file will be released around that month, which never happened. So I just moved on and found Manjaro Linux Mate Edition. It was at around late January of 2013. Manjaro was still in beta state, version 0.8.3 to be exact. There was no PAMAC yet. The installer interface was very ugly, but the Manjaro hardware detection tool was already very good, although it didn't have any GUI yet. My experience with Manjaro 0.8.3 wasn't very long. Just a month after using Manjaro, I made a decision to try out installing Arch Linux for the first time. I was like, fuck it, let's do this. So I ended up spending a whole day just to install Arch Linux. But I really learned a lot from that one installation. Ever since then, I've been reading a lot of Arch Wiki, tried a lot of new stops. I have reinstalled Arch Linux for a lot of times just to challenge myself because I find it really fun to do. I was a happy geek. On January 2014, I bought a new laptop and I decided to install Manjaro in it. It was Manjaro XFC Edition version 0.8.8. .8. From that moment, I never moved to other distribution until today, except for the fact that the computer that I use in my workplace is still using Ubuntu. What I love about Manjaro the most is of course the community. The forum is super friendly, and then the multiple kernel supports, the MHWD, the stability, and everything you can do in Arch Linux are all in here. I think I'm gonna stuck with this distribution for a long future ahead. And until today, I have two custom-built personal computers and a laptop. All of them are running Linux. 
I never have to use Windows anymore, not even Wine. So that's my experience in using Linux guys. The moral of the story, Linux is something you learn by experiencing yourself with a lot, a lot of readings and doing stupid things. Most of the problem that I had encountered can be fixed by doing a simple Google search. And even if I really can't find a fix for them, I can just post my problem in the forum and a lot of very helping guys in my general forum will help me. For that I'm sure. Alright guys, I think I've covered everything I want to share here. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to comment about your experience in using Linux. I really want to know and have a nice day guys.